Hi, this is William Lam and this video is to quickly show you how to get started with the vCloud SDK for Java. We'll be using Eclipse as our main editor. Start off by going to File, New, Create a New Java Project. We'll call this vCloud. Also make sure that your Java environment is running at least 1.6. Go ahead and click Finish. Next you'll need to download the vCloud SDK for Java and extract its contents. Within the directory you'll find a readme file that contains instructions for extracting the appropriate jars based on the version of vCloud directory you're running, whether that is 1.0 or 1.5. In this example, we're going to assume you'll be running vCloud director 1.5 and we'll be using the SDK 1.5 directory. Next, we'll need to import the jars into the Eclipse project. Go ahead and select the vCloud Java SDK and the API schema and drag that into your vCloud project. And we'll go ahead and copy the files. We're going to ignore the Java SDK samples for now. Go into the libs directory and select all the jars and drag them into your vCloud project. And we'll also be copying these files over. Next, we're going to actually extract the contents of the Java SDK samples. You can use a tool like WinRAR for Windows. Go ahead and extract the contents. Next, take the folder that, that, that you just extracted and also drag it into your vCloud project. And we'll copy the files as well. Next, expand your vCloud project and select all the jars that were imported. Right click and we're going to add this to our build path. Next, select the vCloud Java SDK samples directory, right click, and we'll use this as our source folder. Now to verify that everything is running correctly, we'll run one of the sample Java SDK programs. Double click on the list all vApps Java application. Go up to the top of the menu and run the application with this play button. As you can see, the application is expecting three parameters, a vCloud URL, username, and password. We'll go back up to the play button and select run configurations. Head over to the arguments tab and we'll be providing the arguments to the program. Here we have a vCloud director URL. I'm logging as the administrator to the system organization, and that's the password. Go ahead and click Run. Here we have two vApps listed in this vCloud director instance. So there you have it. You're now ready to start creating vCloud applications using the vCloud SDK for Java.